Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Okay, I'm gonna just draw a new portrait today. I got here uh, charcoal. No, this, uh, I have this one. I bought this one yesterday. Blackboard. I mean, this is a, a local, you know, brand comes like this okay. you see? kind of uh, you can see here three thin sticks two thick okay those are pretty soft this is what you call vine or widow charcoal those these ones are pretty soft okay but there's not like a the name like that here like it's willow or you know, or vine. Okay, I'm gonna start sketching. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna place the head. I uh, got the photograph to my left. One second, I'm gonna move just the. I'm moving the photograph on my left because. Uh, you will know that what I use is uh, a side size method. It's not like a like perfectly a hundred percent side size method. Why? Why? Because I don't trace a lot of lines. I don't measure. It's basically to compare. But because it's easier for me to compare when I got the drawing and the photograph at the same size. And that's something I recommend when you. Somebody wants to practice. Okay, got the photograph and uh, the drawing or painting at the same size. I mean, as much as we want to practice, capture the likeness. Okay, let's see uh, the overall shape. No, oh, it's pretty nice this charcoal. Uh, uh, we got two qualities here. This one, this one they say is one dollar, and this one is two dollars. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Okay, first thing that I check out proportions. Always proportions. You know, you pick up any any book about how to draw a portrait. I mean, th that's. The one that everybody's going to recommend is the Loomis method. You can find there all the proportions that we used to use all the time. And I used to repeat them all the time on every live stream. Oh, hello, Twin Tai. Hello, Michael. Hello, Monique. Hello, Sharon. Okay. Thank you all for being here. See, I'm just drawing the overall shape and measuring, okay? From the eyebrows to the nose, from the nose to the bottom of the chin. Same distance, or, or pretty close to be the same distance. And then you check out, you know, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. See the center line. Okay, from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, we split this in split this in three portions, and we usually see the eyes on top of this line. Now today's I don't see. I know I see that she has bigger eyes, and because the face is tilted backward a little bit, pretty sure I gotta place the eyes a little bit down, a little bit lower than than. Uh, the usual, you know, proportions. Okay, for the mouth, 
we split from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin of two and we see the mouth here okay again now she's with the mouth open she has thick lips hey, definitely I gotta move this a little bit down like yeah, around here yeah. and now these are measurements I mean sadly they don't work 100 percent you know I let's say that they don't work like <laughs> Like never, but they are put us together, you know, at least pretty close to, to proportion. But maybe, you know, one face on every, what, 10 million faces is going to fit all those proportions perfectly. Who knows? Okay, hello, Eric. Uh, hello, Tejus. I'm squinting down my eyes and working just on the shadows. Basically, I'm just trying to copy a big, just dark shadow here. All this. Okay. for the hair. I'm gonna use the charcoal on just one side. Okay, I got light here and obviously I got shadow in the background. I can choose to make the background even darker to create more contrast on the light side of the face. Okay. I'm gonna use I got I got here a couple of synthetic brushes, round, pretty soft. Hello Rahul Daif Bikar, welcome. Hello Tariq. Hello Maji. Okay. Now I can I squint down my eyes and I can see you know the position of the eyes, nose and mouth here. I'll try to add more details. Every time that I draw, you know, I try I try to trace like an imaginary a grid on top of the the photograph and on top of my drawing. Like for example, uh, I can hold with my left hand a brush and put it on top of the photograph and looking for some alignments and. I see that the corner of the mouth is aligned up with the corner of the eye. Okay, now it's not 100% perfect alignment, but it's pretty close. What else? Yeah, the corner of the mouth here on this side with this side of the nose. Yeah. Okay. 
no, the tear duct on this eye, yes, it's horizontally aligned with the upper eyelid here. Okay, now the distance between the eyes is one eye. Do you think we can fit one eye here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's say that's one eye. You can pick up and measure, you know, the width of the eye or repeat this distance here. Yeah. Okay. What about the width of the nose? Again, on top of the photograph, you can do this, okay? You, you, can, use, you can use anything we want. A proportional divider, I think, is the best tool for measuring. For measuring is something that you know, uh, that's the first thing I, uh, I learned as a student. When I was a student, the first thing was just measure, measure. Everything was just holding a pencil and using just, you know, the thumb and just measure, 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 measure. Okay. Now for the eyes, simple shapes, okay, simple shapes. What I see here when I try to draw this eye, I see something like that. Yeah. yeah if I want to make it uh, like more, uh, this is this is pretty nice, you know, to try to keep an eye. But usually there's a shape that I always use. It's a diamond shape. For example, for this eye, I could do something like this. Look at the eye. Make a curve here. I draw the iris. Make a curve. To the and I got an eye, you know. Uh, right now it's just about drawing something flat. No volume, nothing. Just something flat. I can use the same diamond shape here. Yeah, I can use the same diamond shape. I remember when I, I went to the School of Art, uh, I thought it was something kind of, you know, I was about to learn something kind of magical, like, I know how to draw, and everything was about measuring. And for me, it was like, okay, just like that, just measuring. You know, in my brain, in my dad, I was 18, I think, or 19 years old. It was, no, that's cheating, you know, I don't want to cheat, I want to just draw by eye. Yeah, that was in what I thought at that moment. But we used to, at that time, you know, we kind of shy, we are, what can I say, obedient. We follow the, we follow the rules, you know, and my teacher was like, measure, and I was, okay. Measuring, measuring, measuring. You won't realize that even measuring, I mean, I couldn't get the face. You, you, you knew that for sure it wasn't that, that it was like uh, there, was, there was no cheating on just in measuring. It was just one more tool to use. Okay. Um, uh, for drawing the, the contour of the face, I forget to mention that, I used to try to think about this space, like a negative, negative space. Look at the photograph and we see the frame is pretty close to the face. That's even much better because I can just try to draw all this here and here. I saw somebody drawing upside down a, a, a few, uh, a, in a video, I don't remember. But it was not a full video, it was just a portion. And I thought it was a pretty nice exercise. You know, I saw that on a book, this how to draw with the right side of the brain. It was with the left, with the right, yeah? Hello, Maggi, hello, hello, Nikki. 
and one of the exercises on that book is drawing positive and negative spaces and drawing I think upside down but not completely from beginning to, to the end it's just to you know if I put my drawing upside down now definitely that's gonna help me with some something you know to measure it uh, uh, first, uh, obviously, my brain, I think, is going to try to see a face. But I'm trying to see a face upside down, uh, that's going to be pretty difficult. Then, I, what basically I'm going to copy just, that's going to be just shapes and forms that maybe that's going to be difficult to put into place, but definitely I think it's going to be easy to copy. When we try to, you know, practice, everything works. Or maybe no works, but everything, I mean, we should try everything. Okay. Let's see, I got here uh, the piece of the paper. I'm going to add a little bit of value in that area. I got a little bit of charcoal on this brush. Where's the latest light? In this case is the nose. Yeah. Tip of the mouth, the top of the mouth here, the upper lip. I'm squinting down my eyes as much as possible. I think these two spots are the the brightest ones. Okay. Uh, something that I was, I was, uh, I just, I got a flashback. The first thing that I started to draw those was those faces that, those sculptures that are just. Uh, that you see where well, you see the planes of the face i don't remember the name of those sculptures they have a name you know uh it was about just drawing that and i think that's something that uh i think i'm gonna add to drawing a long lessons on patreon because that would be i think that's gonna be pretty nice I'm thinking about just drawing half of the face like on planes and the other half of the face like just the real human face and I think that's gonna help a lot just understanding the planes of the face. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Got this. Wanna see the difference between these two? You know, in this little package I got this. Just these three thin charcoals and two thick charcoals. Usually I have noticed that there is a little bit of a difference between those. Okay, and let, let's see. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like any difference, but but what I have experienced a uh, few times is that all the thick ones or the thin ones are a little bit softer. Maybe not too much to notice them. That, but that I mean, we can just feel a little bit of that difference. Oh, Michael is saying you should try drawing on black paper with white charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gonna try. Nikki saying, do we have class tonight? Yeah, I think 
位，对，微微啦。OK， 这边是，这边是。The nose, I think, is too dark. Uh, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Squinting down my eyes, comparing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit darker. I got a couple of needed erasers here. This one that's pretty soft, as you can see. And this one is pretty stiff. If I want to, you know, apply more pressure or erase like uh, like erase more, you see, I could use the darker, the harder one. Stepping back, checking again, comparing with the photograph, squinting down my eyes. Yeah. Mm, okay, I think I gotta just tilt this eye a little bit, make it kind of fall down on the corner. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this make the mouth a little bit darker. for blending one thing that every time they use a brush I soften the charcoal but I erase a little bit of the charcoal okay uh, I'm thinking about the softness of my drawing okay I see uh, one thing they're gonna do, I'm gonna add more contrast on this eye. Okay, 
gonna make it darker, darker, and this one is not it's not gonna be that dark. Okay. And I'm just sharing my plan about getting some softness on my drawing, but it's not the final, you know, my final option. A lot of the things depending on how uh, I got the drawing, you know, when I get closer to the end, and then I start changing what I think, or just keeping my plan to the end. Okay, I'm gonna add um, that softness here, and the dark here is gonna be soft. It's not gonna be black, black. And here, I, I need to, you know, play with some sharp and lost edges. Okay, let's say that here I keep a sharp edge. Okay, you check out my videos, you will notice that uh, uh, I do this, I have done this a few times. It means that some, it's something that we can repeat. Once we know what to do, it's going to be about repetition, okay? Uh, well, for example, I mean, for me, I believe on um, intuition, but I rely more on knowing what I got to do, and I have a plan at least until the point that maybe uh, the circumstances, the drawing, I don't know, make me change my plan. But in this way, when I know when I know what to do, I'm able to repeat again and again, again and again. Okay. Just one second. See. One second, one second. It's my son. My son, just give me something. Mete la mano por ahí. La mano, la mano. Más, más, más. Más, 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 más. Casi, casi, casi. Okay, just one second, guys. You know, there are some priorities here on the house. <laughs> Oh, Nikki saying, uh, hmm. uh, oh, Nikki saying, I, I notice you often start the mouth with the middle line of separation. Oh, that seems a better idea that I will try. Hello, Thang. Yeah. I'm going live on, you know, on YouTube and Facebook. Hello, Edward on Facebook. Okay. Uh, I was speaking about what? Uh, sorry, I got distracted, you know. Um, okay. Oh, the mouth. Yeah. Uh, usually for the mouth, uh, I always try to, for example, when I draw the mouth, a front view. I go do this. Okay. You see, my beginning is just like separation of two s simple shapes okay now here it's kind of it was kind of similar you know this and this and this you know? it's just drawing two objects okay these two objects the upper one it got a similar shape than the other. It's like, just like a reflected image. Okay. Okay, I was uh, distracted by my son. Okay, 
I got this darker. Yeah. Gonna soften. And here you can try, for example, leaving some strokes here, like. No, something like that. We'll go crazy. You can choose to lift those strokes if you think that's you know it's more there's more beauty on those strokes or you just choose to soften them. You can choose to soften them with a brush or just with your hand. Okay, for the darker area I'm gonna use a pastel stick. I could use charcoal, but that's gonna take me more time just getting to the dark I'm just gonna uh, work a little bit faster okay uh, pretty lightly no pressure that much but look look the char uh, the pastel is pretty dark If I use the brush, okay, and what, what I got, when I use pastel, I prefer to use my finger. I just, I go to this first. Okay. I'm not saying that one option is better than the other. I just, some people just don't like to get, you know, charcoal on their hands. And you can use a brush or you can just gloves. Anything. Yeah. A lot of things is just what uh, we got used to do. And for me, I know I tried uh, so many things. Uh, uh, I got uh, this, uh, what's the name of this? Stamps, stamps, it's this thing. I just just didn't so, that much, uh, but I have seen you know, and I have seen all my friends like some of my friends when you know when I was a student they loved that, that. they loved to use those. Yeah. Okay, I'm stepping back and just thinking about you know the illusion that this is rounded. Okay and how I'm going to darken up some areas and how I'm going to create some depth here then at the same time I'm going to make the face, you know, pop forward okay, first here definitely it's going gonna, it's gonna to be darker which is the hair, it's dark there yeah? it's going to be really, really dark I'm pressuring here harder Oh, yesterday that I went to the store to buy this charcoals. I was about to buy this. Uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's just, I don't know why the prices are here so high. You know, uh, just local things, things that we do here, is uh, they are pretty cheap. Yeah, pretty affordable. But things that they come from outside the country, they are pretty you know, expensive. I was about to, to buy a tube of uh, liquid charcoal just know this just like uh, charcoal that come like a oil paint a little tube like this you know I said charcoal and you use with water it was like $30 30 30 dollars three zero for just one tube I mean that's, that's too much yeah. Mm. And I was thinking, <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta buy that one. I'm pretty sure that just because of the price, I'm gonna push myself to do just masterpieces with. And then, and I was, nah, I mean, <laughs> Okay, let's 
see. I'm completing my checking my drawing. I think that I gotta just move the chain a little bit up. Another thing that I can do, I can pick up a little bit of pastel with a brush and work in here. You see? It's pretty nice. Then I got an accent here, an accent here, and I make it a little bit darker. Let me see if that works. Okay, accent, accent. Okay. okay. I'm gonna use a charcoal pencil. I got two, medium and soft. I'm gonna use the soft one and make it darker here okay it's no black black let's see if I make it really dark or not but I can see that's almost black black but the only black black for sure is the pupil here okay that's for sure the black stain on the eye yeah. Now, if she, let's say, has some makeup, yeah, maybe we can add black to the eyelashes, just like that. But just little, little by little, okay? We gotta see if, uh, if it's gonna work just with uh, kind, kind of a dark value, but not black, black. And it's this one, because I wanna soften this pretty lightly. Okay, what about the other eye? Yeah, I don't want to make this pretty dark. I'm going to soften the edge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The eyebrow is too. I gotta just move it, move it down to up. Okay, same here. I see that it's a little bit darker here. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make it that dark at the photograph, but here it's gonna be a little bit dark. Okay. Here, darker than here. Okay. Let's see if that works. I'm not saying they're gonna keep this to the end. I'm just trying to explain how we go, you know, over those, what, what we think when we draw. We gotta think about drawing, we gotta think about values, we gotta think about ages, we gotta think about illusion of creating some kind of atmosphere, air, you know, or depth, all of that. We just values to create that, okay? Definitely if I make this eye as black as this one, as dark, okay, uh, not create, I'm not gonna create the, the, the illusion of depth, okay, but if this is too, light and I got too much contrast it's gonna look like I'm finished yeah? like hey what happened there you need more work I gotta create the illusion of that some kind of kind of a sketchy effect and at the same time I got you know the illusion that this eye is closer and then this a little bit far away A 
Hello Jana Dragos on Facebook. Hello Tan. Okay, I think I said that already said hello. Well, Nikki saying way too much. Nikki saying I will send you some some in an envelope. You send my pins. Yeah. <laughs> deal? Yeah, deal. <laughs> oh my God, I feel so sorry that I I don't go to the I didn't go to the mayor yet. Oh my God. It is cheap here, five, six dollars. Five, six dollars, do you mean the, the, uh, this, uh, charcoal that it comes on tubes? Eh? Okay, I'm gonna use uh, mud graphite. Mm, no, not, no, not yet. I'm gonna go back to the charcoal. Okay, I gotta go back to charcoal to you know the sticks charcoal sticks. Oh wow, looked like I got some little bit of oil on my hand, even even that I got some charcoal here. No, I, di I just failed it, how did it didn't move, it didn't spread. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. Making this eye a little bit darker.
पसंद पसंद करके Okay, this eye is not okay. Making the iris a little bit bigger, just little by little, bigger, bigger. Match it a little bit more. Marker fight. Okay. Uh, Nikki saying I get my big check from the sale of my mother's house today. Wow, I think she's saying, smiling down for us. Oh, wow. But Nikki saying, send your daughter to the post office and pay her. Oh my god, yeah, that's gonna do, do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> This one, fourteen B, twelve B. I'm squinting down my eyes and just wanna work on the shadows around the nose. Can you see that's darker? And below the mouth. Okay. Okay, now things that we gotta always check out when we draw something that's round, it's spherical, for example, the nose. We got light here, we got shadow yeah, here. Okay, as we got the shadow, we got a core shadow and a reflected light. Look for that or for those uh, lights and, you know, in shadows on your drawings. On the nose, this area rounded too, we got a core shadow here, a reflected light. Uh, wait, where's my, okay, here it is. A reflected light here. Put the light here. It's too bright. I'm gonna soften that with brush and light here. Okay, that complete the spherical volume. Uh, anything on the face that you see that's rounded. For example, for example, here on the on the cheek area, this is spherical. Okay, we got some shadows, but we're gonna think that. That, where's the light? It's here. We shade about the light, around the light. Okay. Uh, 
I gotta switch to a 14B. the light on the nose wow I got a mistake here I don't know where this is coming from Another highlight here too. I don't see a highlight on this eye. I'm pretty sure it's going to look pretty good. How are we gonna feel that this is rounded to here? You know, here's where we need to shade thinking that if we got something rounded, we basically shade around that. Okay, shadow, shadow. Okay, you see a little bit of light? Now, I'm squinting down my eyes, and the light here shouldn't be as bright as the light here. Okay, that means that I'm gonna darken up here. Now, I'll make it darker, I kind of, you know, I don't see the rounded form again. I gotta shade again a little bit more. a little bit this eye, the left, the eye on the left. I'm gonna soften a little bit this.
apparently. shape here it's not okay Hello Linda oh. Okay, hello Christopher Oh, oh thank you Nikki Yeah, yeah I wanted uh, uh, well, The thing is like uh, I've been going live like uh, daily for the last maybe seven or eight days I hope I can keep the pace you know but it's just one thing that I used to do okay like daily it was just drawing 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 and at some point it, it became a routine for me drawing in the mornings for a little bit okay sometimes just 20 minutes sometimes 30 minutes sometimes just sketching when I didn't have time, uh, okay, I was drawing when I uh, usually, you know, we gotta go to the bathroom at least once a day. <laughs> I was drawing there. I took, you know, my my sketchbook, pencils, and yeah, doing my business and drawing. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't sound good, but that's what I was doing. Okay. And I gotta zoom in the photograph. Okay, okay. Highlight on the lower lip. And at some point, I don't know what happened, that then I stopped doing that. And it was just like painting, painting, and painting and painting. And I stopped drawing that much. I was drawing. Yeah, I was trying to keep drawing and drawing. And uh, in the middle of the pandemic, I was drawing at night. Usually, I, I got some videos there, some live streams. That I started like sometimes even at midnight. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty nice. I think I got used to kind of talk to somebody. Even that we're not, you know, we don't have the interaction, like, it's just me talking. And, but even just reading some comments is, is kind of nice, you know, because obviously this thing about drawing or painting, we usually do this alone. Yeah, it feels pretty good just to talk to somebody while we practice. Let me see, I'm stepping back. I'm going pretty slowly with values, you know. Um, you wanna 
see how I'm gonna get you know at the end the softness on what's this okay sorry I'm squinting down my eyes as much as possible, trying to see, you know, differences of values. Okay, obviously the light here is not as bright as the light here, yeah, that's for sure. Okay, if I make this light a little bit darker, but still, gotta, I need to have a light. That means I got, I have to darken up everything around this area to keep it light and to keep it rounded form. Okay. Now, if I darken up this, I got to darken up here too. Okay. I change one value. I gotta change all of them. Uh, let me just what I'm doing right now I'm just taking the photograph and making the photograph pretty dark oops it doesn't move that much okay I'm saving a copy I should have done this before Anyway, okay. This darker one obviously is easy to see in this darker one with the lights and shadows, and how much I gotta just continue shadowing, shadowing my drawing. Just one second again. See. Okay, un segundo. Just one second, one second. Okay. Con cuidado. Here's my son. You know, he's the one that he doesn't care what I'm doing. He just gotta do what he gotta do. <laughs> it, it sounds kind of selfish. No, it's not a selfish. Just, just few things that you know that he has to do. Uy, has tirado agua para acá. Has tirado agua para acá. A ver, di, hola. La pura, son que sea. Hola. <laughs> that was my son saying hi in Spanish, eh? Hola. Squinting down my eyes. Okay, continue darkening up here.
Microfight again. squinted down my eyes and I continue shading and shading planning to work just an hour and a half that means I got 20 minutes I'll try to do the best I can 20 minutes
stepping back, squinting down my eyes again and you know checking out the photograph and my drawing. Yeah. I, think I, I think it's okay. Mm. See some imperfections here. Uh, I think that was just the oil on my finger when I was moving around the shadow here. A bunch of my friends, they used to uh, kind of have, have a meeting every, once a week, it was once a week or twice a week. Yeah, that was pretty nice, they, you know, they hired uh, a model and it was just for drawing, just drawing there for a couple of hours. Okay. Portrait, human figure, and drawing, and of course some beers. Yeah. They stopped doing that like a year ago. I hope, you know, I was just, every time I was like, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, in nothing. I wasn't able to make it. That was pretty nice. That was a nice practice. You know, it's uh, a life practice is is pretty good. It's, uh, you no, know, it's a little bit more difficult, obviously, because the model uh, is not gonna stay still during an hour or two hours. That's the the, the more annoying thing for me, for example, like uh, because an, an hour is forty five minutes in fifty minutes. For the model to to rest, and after obviously those forty five, these fifteen resting minutes, it's kind of impossible, you know, for a person to go back to the same exact position. And that's the only thing I didn't like about drawing and painting for the life model. I'm going to soften this edge here. Yeah, but besides that, it's pretty good. And so many painters, so many artists, they think that it's a must, you know, drawing from the life model. Uh, but I think it's a must just drawing. <laughs> life or not life model, just draw or paint. Raise a little bit here, soften a little bit here. Pretty lightly, pretty lightly. This one, the thing, this one of the things that is pretty easy to do when you stick the mirror eraser to anything. In this case, I'm using a brush. As you can see, and I get more control when I'm, I'm working from a distance and erasing from a distance than when I just erase 
pretty close like that. Oh, I prefer this. I, don't, I didn't get the softness I wanted maybe I just kind of erase here the left side of the face Screen down my eyes again. I see light obviously here. Yeah. Uh, the mouth, the upper lip is pretty dark. No uh, shadow here under the nose, darker, darker here lower I live okay you want me to check out on Photoshop now to do what um, uh, do I mean you can just use your cell phone okay take a photograph and make it darker okay I'm just opening Photoshop here share my screen yeah here's Photoshop okay I'm going to pick up the photograph make it darker bigger sorry <laughs> okay now I'm gonna just flip it I flip it to see uh, look for my drawing mistakes okay Flip it now. Okay. One thing is the likeness. Okay. The other thing is just drawing mistakes. Drawing mistakes that means uh, like uh, the mouth maybe is too tilted. The eyes are the one eye is bigger than the other too much maybe. Okay. Or you know, it's not. A, if I trace the center line, I see that. It's not, it's not, it's not there, you know. Things like that. It's just about drawing proportion, measurement, comparison. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm gonna flip it again. Okay. Uh, looks like about my drawing is okay. What about values? We, we need about value. We gotta screen down our eyes. And we try to see something like this, you know. We're not gonna get to this extreme, obviously, but when we went that to this extreme, you see how the, the brightest light on the face is the nose, and then you know below the nose, and then the cheek, and then the chin, then the other chin. Okay, but let's put it here. Now let's see on my drawing, because that's what I'm trying to capture. Okay, when I shading, shading. 
Okay, I need to shape more. Look at the nose. It's not. I don't see the highlight on the nose. Okay. Yeah, that means I need to shape more, more and more. Okay. About the shadows on the nose, you know, the cheek. I think everything is okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Now, what I wanted to do, oops, okay, I didn't want to copy the photograph exactly the way it is, okay. what I wanted to do is create some softness, for example, add more contrast here, and keep this soft, kind of lost, okay, yeah. My intention is obviously create some softness and at the same time, you know, create the illusion that this is turning. More than the photograph, a little bit more. Yeah? I got contrast here and a sharp edge here. Yeah? And I got kind of a, a lost edge here. A soft edge here. That even that is not softer, but because of, because of the values are closer, you know, we read that like a soft edge. Okay, here and here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm thinking about some balance. Yeah, I think that everything is okay. Uh, uh, one thing, on the photograph, I see that everything is darker, like here. Uh, I'm gonna just, uh, like here, it's darker. Yeah. It's almost black. That's what I see on the photograph. Darker here darker here now okay you it's just your your call you decide to copy the photograph exactly obviously it's gonna be beautiful you know or you make some changes in my case I decide to make some changes okay and if I keep my intention obviously if I keep values not that dark here the intention is create some softness and transparency on the face okay now I'm gonna get that all the time that I, I'm not darkening up the shadows enough no it's my intention I'm not saying that just I'm getting that okay I'm saying what is my plan okay obviously we have a plan ahead sometimes we want to do something and we don't get it now you're listening to me what I want okay if you see that what I want is is what you see on my drawing like I got to the point that you know to the point I want it that's perfect if not that's okay too yeah? because it's a process it's just a process okay now I would love to just go a little bit darker everywhere just at like uh, just just like all the shadows just darken up all the shadows a little bit I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to do that I don't think so Keep it just like that. Hmm. I always love to shade, shade to the point that I see, you know, the highlights, like on the nose, for example. But I didn't get to that point today because, I mean, to get to that point, it it means for me to spend maybe forty more minutes just shading and shading and. Pretty, pretty slowly because you know is 
a, a lot of the things that I gotta capture, we have to capture, it's just subtle mid-tones. Okay. Family here is ready to eat. Yeah, pretty sure they're waiting for me. Be darker here. Ignore, no, it's not always about softening everything. We got really amazing textures, very nice textures. We just leave the stroke, you know, chocolate stroke there. I was about to use my finger to soften, but I changed my mind. I think the brush is better. Maybe just to, to erase a little bit with a brush, a clean brush. If I do this, kind of, you know, uh, wipe, wiping off paint, the, the charcoal, sorry.
Okay, I think that's it uh, for today's practice. Just that, I think. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, next time, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna put like a two hours limit because I wanna do a little bit more on this paint and this drawing. Uh, you know, but just I just gotta go. Uh, but let me just uh, okay. just here. No, I gotta choose this one. This one. Okay. So from here and here. Okay, I'm trying to get a sharp edge. I think with that is enough. It's not like really bright or there's a lot of light here. No, and just a sharper edge. Okay. Just that. Thank you so much everybody. Take care you all. Thank you, Michael, Monique, Nikki, everybody here. Okay, see you next time. Okay, bye everybody.